All right, so I want to make a quick video for you guys to show you how to download the Twitter Quartzes and how to uh, enter them into Mix Emergency. I'm going to make two videos. That'll be the first one, and then the next one I'll show you how to manipulate it inside Quartz Composer. All right, so I'll try and keep it quick. When you see the camera shake, that's me tapping on the screen to, um, to focus it. All right, so the first step is you go to vjexplicit.com. It's vj x-p-l-i-c-i-t dot com on the home page you should see a login um, you can connect with Facebook or if you're already uh, signed up you can log in okay now on the top bar you will see home about gallery purchase and quartz you're gonna go to purchase um, and this is where it says once off payment, Facebook RSS data feed, $20 per year. Um, I'll explain a little bit why this is a good thing and a, a good value. Um, so you're going to go to buy now, click PayPal, however you want to do it. If you have any issues with this or logging in or anything like that, make sure you hit up VJ Explicit. Um, so I'm going to skip ahead to once you're, once you're logged in. Uh, you're going to go to home. No, I'm sorry. You're going to go to quartz. And we're back to that page where it says home, about, gallery, purchase, and quartz. All right, so you click on quartz. And on this screen, you're going to see at the top is the Facebook quartz. That's a very, very cool thing. I would say go ahead and download that, but for this video, we're just going to talk about the Twitter quartz. So you're going to scroll down on this page to where it says documentary. And below that, there's three quartzes. <clears throat> Um, this one, this is the one we're going to talk about, this, this top one. This one in the middle is okay, download it and mess around with it if you want. Um, this one on the bottom is really, it shows up really well too. But the one on the top is the most recent one, and this one allows you to do pictures as well. So it's called Blue JS Twitter Feed with Graphic. So you just, uh... Click download, and it should pop it into your downloads folder. All right. So what you do now is open up Mix Emergency. All right, and you'll notice in the download folder when you downloaded the quartz it gives you uh, two options. It gives you the option for standard and try to focus. It gives the option for standard and for widescreen. Whichever one you use really is what you go with. I use widescreen. Most people do. Um, so what you will do now is scroll over to this little box and open the overlays panel. Alright. Now drag and drop your quartz that you downloaded from your downloads into the little quartz composition box in the overlays panel of Mix Emergency. I think the, the, the next step, the best thing to do is to open your presets panel over here and go over to the second to the bottom one and on the top it should say QC overlays go down to any of the empty ones that you have click on it and then click save that way you can get back to it without having to load it from your downloads folder alright so the next step well, let's, let me just show there so it's loaded right now you can see it's loaded up on the side it says username you probably can't see that it's really small we're gonna change that to your username in the next few steps all right, so right now you go back to uh, Explicit's website, and this time you're going to click on the subscribers area at the top. Let's see if I can zoom there. At the top it says members area, subscribers area, log out. You're going to click on subscriber area. And it might ask you to log in with Facebook again. Um... If it does, just go ahead and do that. The main page of the subscriber area is your Facebook feed. 
Um, if you've downloaded the Facebook Quartz, then you can get the feed right here. But since we're talking about the Twitter feed, I'm going to show you how to get that. So you go in the upper left over here, and you'll see FB feeds, so that's Facebook feeds, Twitter feeds, and edit swear words. You're going to click on Twitter feeds. All right, and in the middle here, that's going to be tough to see, but at the top right here it says get Twitter feed user slash hashtag. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my username at documentary, and below it says get link. You just click on that. All right, it's going to bring up your, your feed link. So what you do here, instead of clicking on this, or double clicking to save it or anything like that, you're going to right click on it, and scroll down to copy link. Alright, so now we've saved that link to the clipboard. Um, in the meantime, you can also enter a hashtag if you like. Let's see. do Cosmo, Cosmo Saturday. That's our hashtag that we use for our Saturdays. Alright, so get link. Make sure you type in the hashtag with the... You can't really see it, but make sure you type in the hashtag first. Click get link. Follow the same steps. Right click. Copy link. Alright, so now you've got your links that you need. You're going to go back over to Mix Emergency. Alright, at the top of Mix Emergency, you're going to go Window, and scroll down to Parameters, QC Overlay. Alright, that'll open this little box, and this is where you can add to your links. Go to uh, where it says www address. that's where you're going to paste your link. The next box is allow tweets within hours. Now, the server that this is hosted on, I believe, is in Australia. I'm on the east coast of the United States, which is about 18 hours from Australia. So I have to actually add that time in. So if I want to do the last um, eight hours or so, I have to add 18 to that. So just remember that. If you type in 12 hours, it's not actually going to be 12 hours if you live in the United States. Um, you'd actually have to type in 18 and then plus 12. Um, okay, the next one down here is en Enable Disable Pictures. Uh, if you can see on the screen, let me make it big for a second. Alright, if you can see on the screen, this is what your Twitter feed is going to look like. You got your feeds that come up on the bottom, and then your pictures come up on the right. Alright. So let's go back. Um, one thing you can do is you can disable the picture without actually disabling the entire tweet. So when it pops back up, I'll show you how to do that. In the meantime, the next one down is user username. Click on that. Type in your username. And hit enter. All right, now that the pictures pop back up, let me show you how you can enable and disable them. Just click on this little button here, and that'll turn the picture off. So if somebody sends something really stupid, and you don't want to disable the whole uh, feed, you can just cut the pictures out. You can also MIDI map this, um, so you can have it set up on your controller where if you see something on the screen that you don't want up there, just boom, hit the button that's MIDI mapped, and it automatically takes down the picture. Um, Alright, so that's about it. In the next video, I'm going to show how to um, manipulate it in Mixed Emergency. This one, the, doing it this way is good for guys if you want to use it pretty much the whole night, turn it on, and let it, let it go. Um, I'll show you why in the next video. If you're going to be switching out between a bunch of them, I would recommend manipulating it, changing it in Quartz Composer. Because then that way you can... Uh, these parameters that go in this overlay parameters window, they'll be included in the quartz. You won't have to retype them every time you load it. 
that's good if you want to be able to switch out and use different ones or if you want to use my lower thirds that I can personalize very easily for you guys there's a couple other really cool things that I can do hit me up I can do club logos I can do your logo uh, I can do contests uh, here's a quizzo one um, I don't know if you can really see it too well but uh, it's kinda it's kinda cool um, another thing Uh, the, so, the reason why it costs money on Explicit's website is because it does cost him money to host. Um, and it's reliable. It's never gone gone down on me. I've never had a problem with the, the feed going out or anything like that. I can't say that for uh, actually even using the option of my own website. If I host the feed on my own website, sometimes it'll cut out. But I've never had a problem with VJ Explicit's feed. Um, there's a couple reasons why I think that that it's worth the paying the 20 bucks. One of the biggest ones is because we're going to be doing a lot of other cool things. We're going to be doing some new Facebook feeds. We're going to be potentially doing some combined feeds. And any of the um, feeds that I do in the future, the majority of them will also be available for free to subscribers at VJExplicit.com. Um, there will be free versions. There will be free options. But... Like I said, the, the cool stuff, the really cool stuff that we're working on is going to be on uh, VJExplicit.com. So I really think it's worth it. And then, like I said, hit me up for personalization. All right, so in the next one, I'm going to show you how to manipulate these in Quartz Composer.